because we get, get around. Things we do seem awful. Po -po. Well, I hope I die before I get old. Um, actually, let's rewind a little bit. Hi, um, I was supposed to be on the train, I think it was 195, the Northeast Regional, um, that got, um, cancelled. We'll hopefully make it home. Hopefully nothing happens. We're supposed to leave Monday. It's currently Saturday. <laughs> and we're hoping that nothing happens between today and Monday and that we can get on our train and make it back home. But first, I need to clean my apartment because with everything that's going on, I kind of let it explode. <laughs> nice. An update for this morning. My boyfriend thinks that we should just rent a U-Haul today and drive home tonight because he's afraid everything's going to be closed by tomorrow and our train tickets are for tomorrow. I'm truthfully not prepared to leave today. There's some things that I still needed to get done and some people I still needed to see. So I don't know what to do. Ay, 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 this is stressful. We're going home today. We booked a U-Haul. Hopefully we can cancel the train tickets. All right. Oh gosh. Let's pack. So I started leisurely packing thinking that I had until 6 p.m. But then my boyfriend saw somewhere that the city of Boston was going to be pretty much shutting everything down and really not letting anyone out at around 3 p.m. that day. And I know what you're thinking. Brie, that sounds absolutely insane. And you're right, it is absolutely insane. I mean, don't you think they'd give people some time to figure out where they're going or what they want to do? That was my thought too. But considering how ticket after ticket after ticket was cancelled and our ways of getting home became slimmer and slimmer, I honestly would have believed anything at that point. Looking back at the clips now, it's almost comical to me that I thought that the whole city was actually not going to let people leave by 3pm, considering there were parents there picking up their kids from college. But, like I said, I would have believed anything at that point because nothing had worked out up until that point. And if there's anything I learned from this whole experience is that anything's possible. Literally anything's possible. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, these next few clips are going to seem extremely dramatic. And trust me, in the moment they were as dramatic as they seem. But take them with a grain of salt. Okay, so I'm going to have to make this quick. It's currently like 1.30, which means we have to leave like right now. I didn't have any of my stuff, or not, barely any of my stuff had I have to leave this place a total mess. We have a bunch of garbage we need to take down. Sorry. Well, I hope I die before I get old. No. 
not really. <laughs> Rest area. Yay! My generation, baby. Who's ready to clean? Me. <laughs> yes. You can only see. Oh. Look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> what? <laughs> she's quite a bit shorter than me. 